All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Trevor Murphy, part of the management team with the, uh, the St. John's Edge, and thank you for being here and being a part of this today. Uh, it's certainly been a busy, uh, busy few weeks and a busy few months getting this, uh, the Edge ready for their uh, inaugural season, and it's been an exciting few weeks as we've done this. Uh, this morning, it's my pleasure to uh, introduce via phone from New York, uh, Robert Sabah, member of our ownership group, uh, for a special announcement. Good morning, everybody. Um, this is truly an exciting day for the St. John's Edge, and I'm really happy that I made uh, a part of this wonderful announcement for our organization. On behalf of the St. John's Edge ownership group, we're pleased to announce that we've signed Carl English as the newest member of the St. John's Edge. We're really excited to give Carl an opportunity to play at home. We understand the experience, talent, and commitment that Carl brings to the team, and we're really excited that he wants to be here and help us build a championship program. The owners would also like to acknowledge the hard work put forth by Coach Dunlap and John Grant to bring Carl to our organization. On behalf of us all, welcome home, Carl, and we truly uh, look forward to seeing you in the next jersey very soon. Thank you. This is an exciting day for, uh, for Newfoundland in general and for the edge, of course, and, and for basketball in this community. Uh, coming together, we, we, we heard your name Carl English, and I knew that that was a, a possibility, something that we've uh, worked hard for, and uh, Glenn Stanford and company, have, uh, we've uh, we united and, and, and really helped uh, bring this along and, and let this day happen. And so we're very, very excited. From my standpoint, I got two days of practice with him before we hit the road on Friday, and we play Saturday. So uh, we're going to get in the gym right away, right after this press conference, and get him up to speed as quickly as possible. But he'll be a great addition, uh, to say the least, and, and we're very, very excited. So I'm going to turn this over to the man that you want to talk to, Carl English. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank uh, Robert and ownership group, the Edge. Uh, to make this possible. Um, I want to thank my family. Uh, I would say they're probably the number one reason why this is going down. Um, so obviously, it's an honor to be at home. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been a journey. Uh, a lot of you guys have been with me along the way. I have a ton of fans. Um, but my family, for, foremost, has been, uh, been with, with me along the, the journey. And it's been, it's been up and down. It's taken me all around the world. And it's, uh, I guess it's, unique and it's uh, amazing and a bunch of whole bunch of feelings in one the fact that I'm, I'm back home um, it's a privilege and an honor to, to play in Newfoundland and when the team was announced it's a bunch of stuff I mean it's been more than a roller coaster because this has been ongoing for I'd say four months um, a lot of people on the back scenes there it's been going on that don't want to be mentioned but there's a lot of work that went in behind this that a lot of people are not taking credit for everybody likes to hop on the bandwagon but there's a lot of crucial people behind the scenes that made this happen um, I don't I, I look at it in many ways I look at it as an exciting opportunity I look at it as a, a chance to give back I look at it as a, just another important step along a road that's been been, like I said, it's been an amazing journey. Um, first, my kids. It's difficult when, when they get older. I mean, when they were two and three and four, and you can take them anywhere. They just fit right in. Now they're with their school, they're with their fan, their fam, friends, and they're in their groups and stuff. And my wife, obviously, she's still by me through, through everything. Um, and then my family. I mean, it's, uh, I'll be, everybody knows my past. Everybody knows what I've been through. We're not going to get into that today, but I mean, I have a close family. We've been together for, you know, it's, anyway. Um, but uh, we're, we got, we're going through some stuff as well with, with my brother, Kevin, uh, as a lot of you guys might know already. So he, he needs a kidney transplant, and we've been tested and stuff for that. So we, it's, it's a very exciting time, like I said, but it's also a time where, where I feel I have to be at home. Um, Let's talk basketball, I guess. Basketball, for me, is the easy part in all of this. I, I feel it's always been the way 
out for me from, from everything I've been through, from everything I'm struggling with. When I get on that court, I've, I've always been free. Um, I'm not too concerned about Saturday or Sunday or next week because uh, I've put in the time, the effort, and the determination, so I will be ready in some way or form, but obviously it's going to take a few days and a few weeks to get accustomed to Coach Dunlap's system, but I've been watching in the background and trying to stay out of it and been sneaking around and watching what they're doing, and you know, I got a good feel for what's going on, and I've been talking to him along the way as well. So I think I'll fit in. Um, it's a lot easier to fit in with, with people that speak English than people that don't speak our language. I'll give you that. So uh, I can bring a lot to this young team. I can bring a lot to the organization. But another big part of, of what I want to bring is basketball back to Newfoundland. I feel it's gone down over the years. Um, I've always been away. I come home, I try to do some things. but. I always have a busy summer and you know when you're playing a 10 month season and you come back for two months you know my family takes priority and there's only so much I can do and then I'm also preparing myself and my body for the upcoming season so right now we have a bigger window and a bigger span and I think if the edge attacks this the right way I think we can really change the scope of basketball in our province and to move forward in the right direction. Um, it's a great sport for kids to play, it's a cheap sport for kids to play and there's a lot going on in our city and it'll get people off the streets and get people in the gym and, and kids having fun and um, I want to be a big part of that as well. So we can look at this scope of things of what's going, what's about to go down and it's not, let's take the basketball, the basketball is a small, small fraction I feel of what's about to happen. I feel this can be great for the community. I feel it's something that Newfoundlanders could be proud of and get behind. And I'm going to do my best to make sure that it's done correctly and we do it right. Um, but we're also going to need your support. I mean, nothing works without fan support. I've been, I've played on $50 million teams that have 20 million, 20,000 fans at every game. And I've also played on $5 million teams that have your loyal three and 4,000, but they're there to support you and they're there to make it work. And, but without the community support, it's difficult for anything to work in any country, in any province, and in any situation. So we're going to be in the community, we're going to be at schools, we're going to be, you know, at charity events, we're going to be at uh, the hospitals for kids, there's going to be many things that we're going to be involved in, and I feel this has to be, to work, it has to be Newfoundland's team. They plan on, they plan on being here for a while, it's not just come in and, and cash out and get out of here. And I wanted to be part of that this season because I feel if I can put my fingerprints on it, I feel we can make it successful. Um, again, the organization and uh, the owners have, have been, it's, up, it's an uphill battle, right? Because you're starting up a new team and they were put under the gun because they were probably five months late to begin with. So we bring in Coach Dunlap and you're asking basically the impossible to, to build a team in two weeks. Um, and be competitive. So when you think, when you sit down and think about that, you got to be a little bit patient as well. I, I, I guarantee you the product you see on Sunday or December 1st will not be the same product that you will see in February because it takes time for teams to gel and it takes time for teams to be competitive. But along that process, true fans and true supporters are there to support you and then they'll see the big picture in the end because these things don't happen overnight, you know, and as much as we're trying to do it overnight, um, you know, we'll need, we'll need a little bit of patience and we'll need, we'll need that to happen. But like I said, I'm here and I'm, I'm back home. Um, I'm a proud, proud Newfoundlander. I've always been. Some point to, uh, you know, uh, I play Newfoundland music in the locker and you'll have the boys look at me like, what the hell is that? <laughs> so, you know, it's, 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 I tell you, I've always wore that on my chest and I've been a, played for Team Canada for 12 years and I'm proud of where I come from. But first and foremost, I'm, I'm a Newfoundlander and I'm proud of that, so I'm glad I'm a part of this situation. I'm glad that, you know, it, it's happened the way it went down. I'm, I'm glad my family's here. I'm glad, you know, it's, it's a special day. And, you know, it's been, it's been a hell of a journey and it's still continuing and I think it's, uh, it's going to be exciting. That December first game is is going to be rocking, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, we can continue with that and have a great season. So, 
How do you think you'll stack up against the players in the NBA? How you think I'll stack up against the players? I think players you'll stack up pretty good, but I'm not a professional basketball player. I'll be fine. You know, I think it'll be. I think it'll be fine. I mean, it's an athletic league. I'm obviously not the same athlete I was ten years ago, but I'm smart. Um, I'm shooting it better than ever, and I'm in great shape. So I think I'll be fine. And what do you think the team around? What do you think of the team? I think there, it's a good process. You know, we got some good guards there, some bigs. It's different because you, you're trying so many different pieces and you're under the gun. I mean, you think about it. Would you change five players last week? Yeah. So they changed five players last week. So now you got five new ones in. So it's, uh, it's, it's very different. You know, like you're building a team of 12 guys and they're, they've been two weeks, two weeks and then you change five. So it's... You know, it's definitely, definitely a process. But I mean, uh, there's a lot of potential there. There's a lot of talent there. I think I can assist coach with some of that guidance on the floor and help these young guys understand what's going on. And we can go from there. Um, just for background, when was the last time you played a, an actual basketball game in the province of Newfoundland? Uh, 1999 was, was my last time. Um, that would be what? Provincials? Provincials, yeah. 98-99, I believe. Provincials would have been in Fatima. 3A, I remember it like yesterday. Harbor Grace, and we beat them. Yeah. So I'd love to give you a great answer when you ask me what I'm going to do in this league, but I politically correctly can't tell you what I'm really feeling. But that's the type of belief and confidence I have in myself, and that's what I, I want them to have. That's what I want the kids to have, because if you believe in yourself, no matter what you face in life, you can get through it. But if you're doubting yourself, you can get in a rough place. You know, and I'm not going to tell you the road was easy. I've been in places where I was ready to quit. You know what I mean? I mean, I ask my family what, what I felt like on draft night. You know what I mean? So there, there's times in my career where, like, when I think of that now, it still gives me the gas, uh, goosebumps. You know what I mean? So there's times you're going to hit adversity where you're like, well, what do I do now? Right? But I think it's all about... I, I strong believer when you get to knock down how fast you can get back up. And I've held that to the end and that's what I'm trying to inspire them to be. And younger kids and different, you know what I mean? That's, that's the positive attitude that I try to bring to it, so. I have kids the same age as your children. I know yeah. um, it's, it makes you awful proud enough for your career to yeah. be able to, uh, to uh, provide for your family and, and support your love. Yeah. Is it the best gift to be able to tell your children they're gonna be able to stay home with dad born and raised? I mean, if you had to see their expression when I was, like, thinking about it, you know what I mean? And we were going back and forth, and they, they were excited, and I'd ask them the question, you know, because I, two weeks ago, I had a job offer in Greece, and I was there, like, well, what do you guys want to do? So, Ryder goes, uh, I want to go. I was like, well, you know, when you go, you're, you're gone for the season. I don't want to go. <laughs> what about hockey, Daddy? I got hockey try. I got this, I got that, and I was like... Well, buddy, that's, that's where it's at, right? I mean, if I'm going, you're coming, right? And my daughter's like, well, you know, if you're going, I want to go, right? Typical girl, you know? And my wife is in there because she knows, you know, she knows the window. She knows she's been through, through it all a couple <coughs> extra years. not really going to matter to her. And my youngest one, she's only three, so she doesn't really understand anything that's going on. So then when the edge is coming up, and I took them to the scrim and stuff there, and He's like, Daddy, you think, you think you have a chance to play? You think they're going to want you? And I said, well, I, I, I think so. He's like, who, who wants you? I was like, that man. I was like, the coach. He's like, sure he wants you? And I said, yeah, I think he wants me. I said, we're trying to work it out. And then another uh, the guy setting up who refused to stay nameless uh, was there. He's like, who's that guy, Daddy? I was like, he's the guy making some of the decisions. He's like, he wants you too? I said, yeah, well, we're trying to, we're trying to work it out, buddy. He's like, I'd really like it, you know, I'd really like it. So then I, yesterday morning when I knew it was going to happen, but it wasn't signed, I told them and their excitement and their joy and, you know, the hugs when they knocked me over, I, I could understand that I, I think I made the right decision. So there, there's so much built into, into things that people don't understand, you know, to be a professional athlete and to play the level and the grind that I've been through. A lot of people, you can read about it and you can, you'll never understand until you're there. And the, the path that you have to take is not an easy path, right? Because I can help them. A lot of these guys are on the cuff. Coach will tell you that. A lot of these guys are right there and ready for that next jump. You know what I mean? And you can use the St. John's Edge. And I think the league itself will build up from this day forward. I think it's going to get better. You know what I mean? And I think if you build that, well, that's an opportunity and a platform for these guys 
and for other generations now, because now we have locally. So let's say now the local kids now that go to Mon, well now they have something to inspire for. They can actually have a chance to play professional basketball. You know, where, where many, like five years ago, you know, when you're done Mon, you're pretty much done, that, that's it. Or you're done university, a lot of portions, even some of the great ones. You know what I mean? You can go through some of the great ones in our province and in our country, once that university career is over, they're pretty much, pretty much over. So, I mean, now we have a platform and St. John's Edge can give the young players that platform and something they can work for and hopefully they can look at me and inspire and say, well look, he's had a 15 year career playing at the highest level in Europe, which is Spain and the countries I play in is the highest level outside the NBA. So, you know, I've had tremendous success in these countries and now I can take that and it's something that I'm, I'm very proud of, but like it's not an easy road to get on, right? Okay, guys, well, let's, uh, thanks for coming out. And again, thanks to St. John's Edge, owners, organization. And hopefully you guys are, are with us along this uh, journey and we'll see, where, we'll see where it ends up from here. All right, let's go. Thank you. Uh, we will make Carl and uh, Coach Dunlap available for about uh, 10 minutes for any one-on-ones, uh, -on and they have that over the practice.